Welcome to my channel. Today I have the unboxing and review of John Waters' infamous film, Pink Flamingos. Now this came out in 1972, and this is basically a trilogy, or I should say a trash trilogy of three films, including this, Female Trouble, which is 1974, and Desperate Living, which is 1977. The story basically goes for this would be, um, Divine is a criminal living under the name of Bab Johnson, who is proud to be the filthiest person alive while living in a trailer with her mother, Edie, played by Edith Massey. Her son, Cracker, is played by Danny Mills, and companion, Cotton, played by Mary Vivian Pierce. Divine is confronted by the Marples, David Lokery and Ming Stoll, a pair of criminals envious of her reputation who try to outdo her in filth. The characters engage in several grotesque, bizarre, and explicit crude situations, and upon the film's release in 1977, it was rated NC-17, because when it came out, I believe it was basically rated X, because it was, at the time, it was pretty hardcore. I mean, it was kind of a shocking movie. It was pretty tasteless and, uh, let's just say, plain filthy. There's a scene in this movie which still bothers me today. It's a chicken scene. Um, I'll leave it at that, but yeah. It was a bad scene with the chickens. And there's also a scene at the end where um, Divine actually picks up fresh dog shit and eats it. That's a hard scene to watch, but it's part of the film. Now this film has actually a good soundtrack as well also, surprisingly. So let's open this up. Now this is on Blu-ray for the first time through Criterion Collection. It's restored in 4K, supervised by John Waters himself. There's the Blu-ray. Oh, and it comes with a nice little pink <laughs> flamingo barf bag. Pretty legit. It actually is a barf bag. And what's this? Some little tidbits on the film. This film has a nice documentary, interviews, commentary, featurette, you name it. It's well conceived. Now the transfer of this film, I have to say, was uh, pretty damn good, considering it was a very low budget film. The colors were more, more vibrant. I really appreciate the effort they made in the 4K transfer for the Blu-ray. And the audio was definitely pumped up a notch as well. Really impressed. If you haven't seen this film, well let me say, John Waters knew fans who saw Hairspray, the latest edition of it with John Travolta, once they watched Pink Flamingos, they were pretty shocked. Because this is not like uh, Hairspray at all. This is on a whole different level. So yeah. As <laughs> uh, far as the review on this, on the transfer, I'd give it an A. I thought it was really well done. Colors popped, you know. This movie did its justice on the uh, transfer. And the audio, i give it an A as well. So yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, I will be the first to tell you it's not for everyone. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. It stands on its own. It's one of my favorite guilty pleasure movies. It may not be for you, but that's okay. So, yeah, on that note, thanks for watching my uh, channel. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it, and I will see you soon.